All right, I got my shipment for the parts that I need for my four horsepower. Um, I'm gonna be doing now is the water pump. Um, now I started making a video a second ago and realized I didn't hit record, so you're not gonna see a lot of it. But what I do first is I clean up the drive shaft, and to do that I spray some PB Blaster or WD-40, whatever I have, into my glove. And then I use my glove and just kind of go up and down the shaft. That will kind of wetten all of the carbon buildup and deposits it gets and really get them right off. Yeah. So that's the first step I do. Um, it won't get everything though. Like this is probably, I don't know, rust, gunk, who knows. But I have a whole different process for that. We'll go do that now. This is my old trusty wire wheel on the uh, bench grinder. So you're always going to have a little bit of play here in the drive shaft. So I'm going to pull it out a little bit and use that area to clean it up. Bad, huh? Now I have a nice clean polished drive shaft with nice clean splines on the end. So I uh, I always do that. And I think it, it's a great idea to do it. But let's go get this water pump off. Got some little 5-16 screws. Those gotta come out. And now we can get our water pump out of there. So I don't want to pull the drive shaft out because then you gotta realign the pinion and it's not always get back in. So what I'm doing is holding the drive shaft down while I pride that up a little. Looks like this one's gonna come out in one piece. So that's good. And there's our old water pump. We'll uh, we'll take it apart later and uh, see what it looked like. And we have this little plastic base. Pretty well in there for some reason. But it's got to come out. Perfect. Now I gotta get in there or something and clean all this gunk out. I don't know why these things always attract gunk, but they always do. Yeah. The pillar pin can stay, but I'm not really gonna worry about it. Now, as I mentioned, I don't want to pull the drive shaft out, but now I do to get all this crud out of there. So let's uh, hope nothing in there moves. And as long as it's out, Clean the rest of the drive shaft up. So that wire wheel is a little too big, so I'm going to use my uh, little smaller one I have. Okay. Well, now it's getting somewhere. Now, there is a bunch of crud. Probably going to go into the drive shaft hole. Not much we can do about that. We'll just change the oil a couple of... Uh, Time sooner than we're supposed to. Now there is some crud going inside of the water pickup holes. So I have to get something small in there and clean those out. Looks like this is doing fine. Then I'll also get some compressed air. After I put the drive shaft back in and blow all the stuff out of there. And now would be as good as time as any to get this drive shaft key changed out. Should be in our tiny little package. There it is. Nice. 
nice and stiff. Yeah, that doesn't want to go in there. I guess that's why they give you a new one. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get this drive shaft put back in. Hope it goes right back into the pinion. So far, not good. So now we gotta get some light in there and figure out why our pinion's not aligning. It's actually only a hair off. Does it? Nope. See, the problem is, you know, this is going to happen. That's why I didn't want to pull the drive shaft out. And it's almost like it's spring loaded. So every time you go to move the gear, it moves just fine. But it falls right back to where it just was. I'm going to cut my zip tie, rotate the drive shit or the lower down a little bit, and the gravity will help me push it back to where it needs to go. I'm supposed to put grease on the seals. They're not new, but might as well do it anyway. Alright, seals greased. Put the right end in. And see what happens. Perfect. Now let's not take that back out again. So, to install our new water pump, these two little tabs are going to go in the back. Now, let me show you the other part of it. See, it's got two little tabs in the front. Those go in the big hole, and then those two in the back just kind of go in the back. And when we put in the water pump, it'll force it down the rest of the way. Now before moving on, I'm going to run a 1024 tap down the water pump screws here. get this water pump assembled. So I guess the first thing I'll do is uh, put this in. That long tab goes into that little water hole right there. Just like so. It's going to need some oil of some type. You, uh, They say to oil the impeller itself, but I'm going to do the body of the thing just because that's easier. You can use dish soap here. DB blaster like I am, pretty much anything. So I'm going to force this into this cup, turning clockwise as I go. At least that's the theory. If you've ever seen me do one of these before, I always struggle with it. Again, you're rotating clockwise. As you can see, it's easy. So now what we're going to do sure that doesn't fall out. That little opening right there is going to go right there. That's in. Now what I do, yeah I just went the wrong way with it, figures. <laughs> 
All right, right there. Nice and centered in there, and my key will go right in. So now we need to get some uh, grease oil or something on the uh, impeller key. Impeller key. Water pump grommet. So I'll just use some triple guard just because it's here. And that gets installed to the pump body. You know, I've got a tool for this summer. Let me see if it'll work. This is a uh, grommet installer tool for a 20 horse. The grommet's the same, so in theory this I don't know, it might help. Yeah, that ain't doing nothing. I guess this just holds it for you and puts it in the gear case and then you fight with it when it's in there. But it doesn't look like this is some mysterious, goes right in kind of tool. And I could hope, right? Alright, back the old fashioned way. Now you don't want to pierce through the rubber here. You just want to push it in. Perfect. Who needs that tool? Alright. Now we get our screws and our little uh, o-ring and that's the end of our water pump kit. So let's go get this installed. Slide the uh, assembly. Well, first thing I'm going to do is line this up a little better. Right about there. Now slide our new water pump over the top and hook the key lines. Now each screw needs to get coated in this uh, gasket sealing compound, just so you know. Get back in camera view, huh? That's all it really needs. Final step, well, as far as the water pump goes, let's put some of this molly lube on it, which apparently didn't quite open. Oh yeah, it did. So we uh, apply this to the sides of the drive shaft splines, not to the top. Now I could have put the o-ring on first, apparently I didn't, but yeah, whatever. And actually, I don't even know if this is the right o-ring for the drive shaft, this thing is tiny. But I don't care, it's going on there anyway. Perfect. So our uh, water pump is now installed. Okay, hey, got some gear case oil fluid in here, so I'm just going to fill it up. You got a better angle so you can see where I'm going. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of how I fill it. Takes a little while, but no biggie. We also, uh, I already cleaned up the uh, screw. Little drain plug there. We have the new washer reordered, and uh, I also cleaned up the propeller shaft, so this thing is almost ready to go.
That's about as full as it's getting. Dirty washer. Seal or whatever you're going to call this thing. All right, and uh, it's ready to install now. All right, let's get this lower unit hardware cleaned up. I do this the same way I do all of them, wire wheel. I'm going to run a tap down the two mounting holes here. Plenty of room here, so no reason to use my tap sockets. The tap handles quicker anyway. I'm only got two screws, long ones and short one. Short one goes up here. Yeah, long one goes in the bottom or front of the motor. So I'm putting some anti-seas on the screws, so I have those ready. Now, we need to put some triple guard grease on the water pickup tube here. Just make sure it doesn't give us any problems. Any grease will do, I'm sure. Now you don't want to get it on the inside of the water tube, just the outside. So keep that in mind. Alright, that's greased up. Now we're ready to install the lower unit. Let's slide it in and hope everything goes okay. This is gonna work, but give her a shot. Oh yeah, that's the way to go. Shine a flashlight down in there. Line the uh, drive shaft, and it might go right in. Easy, right? All right. That is it for today, folks. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns, issue, or gossip, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we're, uh, we're making some good progress here now. Now we got a lower on it. And it rotates again. Oh. Till next time.